Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's quick mini tutorial, which is on showing you how I add lens flare into my photos. Quite often online, I'll receive the question on, are the lens flares in my image, you know, naturally there? or are they artificially added? They're always a mixture of both, but today I'm gonna show you how I add lens flare artificially by using Adobe Photoshop. So this is the image that we're working on today. And the first thing that we want to do is go into filter and we're going to go down to where it says render and then lens flare. And so from here, you can reposition your lens flare anywhere that you want and I generally like to go where it's the brightest part of the image, where the sun might actually be in that specific photo or just where the light is the strongest. So that way it looks a little bit more natural and not out of place. So I have it right here where you see the guy kind of mopping the, the deck of the ship. And I want to put it right off of his right shoulder. And you can actually change the brightness. You can choose what type of lens flare it is. The, the one that I like to use is the 50 to 300 zoom lens type. You have these others. The 35 prime is a more wider look and it's a little bit brighter. The 105, even brighter than that and more just, just white light. And then the movie prime has kind of like those streaks that's coming from that actual lens flare. So the one that I'm gonna use for today is the 50 to 300 zoom. And now we can actually go about adjusting our brightness. So you can go however bright you want for your specific photo that makes sense for that particular photo as well. So in that case, I'm at 134% and that is way too much. Even at the default of 100, that's still a little too bright. So I wanna tone that down just a bit to about 70%. That's a very good spot for this particular photo so we're going to click OK and there's our lens flare there but that's not the final thing that we want to have there that's not the look that we're going for so what I'm gonna do is come up to the top and click on edit we're gonna undo the lens flare and then go over to layer and do a new fill layer and then solid color and so we're gonna click OK and we want to make sure that our solid color of choice is black, which it is. And we'll click OK. Now we'll recall our lens flare. We'll go back to filter. And now we'll click on lens flare. And it will recall it back into the exact same spot that we originally put it in. And so once we have that, we'll go back to filter, go to blur, and then Gaussian blur. So I usually like to hover between 30 or 40 sometimes 50%, depends on the specific photo that I'm editing and how I want that blur to be for my lens flare. So in this case, a 48, that, that seems pretty good. So we'll, we'll stay with 48. Once we click OK, we'll come over here to where our layers are and where it says normal, we're gonna click on that and then select screen. And so from here, I sometimes will adjust the opacity of that specific layer. So if you don't want it to be so strong, you can change your opacity a bit. You know, that's all the way with it off on zero. You can have a little bit about 50%. But for this image, I think about 80%, somewhere around in there is pretty good. And then that's it. So once we have that, I'll right click on my background layer and then flatten image and I'll continue on with my adjustments for my photo. But that's how I create a lens flare for my photos in Photoshop. So try this method for yourself and see how it works for your photos. So until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.